What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? No, fuck all that bullshit. Fuck all that. Today, once again, for the second time today, here's another video, and I'm making a rant. A little bit of a, kind of an angry rant. Because I've never figured out, and I understand, why is it that all these trolls, all these stupid people, all these ignorant people, all these over-the-top, ridiculous people, go out of their way to try to disrespect and talk down about Dragon Ball Universe 2. Dimp is working very hard to bring the community and the Dragon Ball gamers something fresh and new with the series. People act like because the game is not tailor made to their 110% specifications and what they want in the game, that that by default makes it a bad game. And I don't understand how is a game with a fresh new story, a fresh new take, a fresh new, you know, creative character system, you know, doing different things and things that people have asked for for years, uh, a bad thing. People, I've seen so many just, just ignorant comments and haters coming out the woodwork on the IGNs, the game spots all week through E3, before E3 when uh, the gameplay trailer was first announced uh, in May. Uh, you know, graphics the same. Graphics look exactly the same. This is the same looking game as Xenoverse 1. You know, oh, they showed a new gameplay last month. Oh, no, I'm sorry, earlier, uh, late, early last week, uh, this week, you know, E3. Late last week, this week. Oh, the gameplay looks exactly the same. You call those combos? They didn't change anything. And I'm just like, are y'all fucking kidding me? Seriously, are you fucking kidding me? You people who watch this gameplay and literally say they didn't change anything, number one, don't know shit about fighting games. Number two, you obviously don't know anything about mechanics. If you really look at Xenoverse 1 gameplay and look at the Xenoverse 2, the small few minutes of Xenoverse 2 gameplay they showed us, and you think the mechanics are exactly the same or they haven't changed anything, then you're a damn fool. I'm not even going to let listing all the mechanics that they changed. Because there's at least six new things in the gameplay. If you can't see that, you're a damn fool. Or a hater. You obviously must be one of the two because there's no way you can tell me this gameplay is exactly the same. And this is just the first taste of what we got. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. We, I mean, people were saying, well, I saw one comment on GameSpot during the uh, Harada-san you know, interview. Oh, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, those were the, that was the best one. I don't care for Xenoverse games. I don't care for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I don't like Xenoverse 1. What the fuck are you doing on this YouTube channel making a comment about Xenoverse? Why are you even on this channel making your negative, hating ass comment in the first place? I don't understand people. It's like the same people who go on YouTube, look up Dragon Ball GT, and all you see is all these comments. This so sucks. This doesn't make any sense. There's a plot hole there. This is that. But yeah, you went out of your way to look it up just to make a comment about how much you don't like it. You went out of your way to contribute to this 2 million views, this 3 million views, illegally streaming this just to make a comment. Just to hate it. It's ridiculous. I don't understand people. I just don't get it. The community in Dragon Ball is some of the stupidest people I've ever met before in my life. I swear. GT is a candidate. It doesn't make sense. But it would offend Super to the death. With all the plot holes and inconsistencies in that show. Come on now. It's ridiculous. I just don't get it. Xenoverse 2 looks great. If you think it doesn't, then that's fine. But if you out here hating and saying stupid stuff, then fuck you. Bye.